All right. Good evening, everybody. It is Wednesday again. I don't know how it happens that we get through half the work week so quickly. It feels like the week just started and we're already halfway done, which is not a bad thing. So our fashion fixes are in. They're in your pouch if you had ordered a fashion fix. So this is the one that was the most popular this month. You can see I've got mine. It came in my box with yours. Hi, Esley. So loving my butterflies in the blue and the white crackle stone. They're really cute. I didn't put on the ring and the bracelet yet. Um, just my necklace, and my earrings, but I thought they were really cute. And that was the super popular one this month. It seems like there's always one that sells out really quickly. And this was the one this month. So we were extremely lucky to get them at all, which I was happy about. Hi, Allison. They weren't available in the sets anymore when I ordered them, um, but we we're able to order them also in individual pieces. So I was able to get enough pieces to make up the sets that we needed. So we still got what we wanted. Isn't it pretty, Esley? Yours is in your pouch too. So I'm not a big crackle stone person, <clears throat> but I am a big butterfly person. I love butterflies. Um, Caitlin has always liked butterflies from the time that she was little. And so I used to buy butterfly stuff for around the house because she really liked it. And then I decided I really liked it too. So now we all do the butterflies. <laughs> Hi, mom. Good to see you. I am still a little congested and the voice is still a little in and out. So bear with me. Um, still testing positive so far, but I'm feeling pretty decent. Um, a little bit of, a little bit tired still and a little congested, but not too bad. So things are looking up. Hopefully next week I'll be able to go back to work. I work in a doctor's office, so don't necessarily want me there when I'm not feeling well. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, so I've had two weeks off basically. So that's not a terrible thing. Got some rest. Maybe got a few things done here and there. All right. So this is not going to be a super long show because it's Wednesday and not a lot of people come in on Wednesday and I'm still not feeling a hundred percent. So we're kind of just going to keep it a little bit brief. Um, invoices for last week and this week if you didn't already catch that, are going out on Saturday afternoon. Most people didn't have enough to send out this past week because we had less shows. So I just rolled them all together and Saturday afternoon we'll send out those combined invoices. That saves you guys shipping. You didn't have to pay for shipping on one piece. And while I was sick, I didn't have to try to get everything together. So it kind of works out for everyone. All right, our first piece tonight is Metro Milestone in rose gold. This is kind of a medium length necklace. It's not as short as our other shorter ones. It's not as long as the long ones. So right in the middle, we have rose gold round beads and then rose gold hoops in between. The earrings are the round rose gold beads and they are on a fish hook back. <clears throat> You'll have to let me know what she says, Allison. Allison bought one for her best friend. So hopefully she'll really like that. This one sits down at the bust. So right here, kind of at the top of the bust before the extension. With the two inch extension, it's going to come down over the bust. So right about here. I love the rose gold. It's a pretty combination. They combine um, shiny copper and the gold so that you get this kind of a pale pink gold instead of the um, brighter shiny copper. And it's a really nice look very classy looking. So this one tonight, we have two of. It is going to be number one Metro Milestone in rose gold. I don't know why I'm super zoomed in over here. It's kind of making me <laughs> a little bit self-conscious. I don't know. Hi, Marlo. You were on the show from Sunday night. Well, that happens. You can get in the wrong place pretty easily. Hi, Juanita. Juanita, I wanted to let you know, you still have a free piece you haven't used um, from a while back. I didn't know if you remembered you had it, So, but you're still on my list. This is why I keep a list. All right. Next up, this is Party Crasher in green. So 
Yeah, you do. So these are olive green metallic beads. You also have some silver metallic beads mixed in here. I'm trying to hold that out so you can see them. Kind of clustered on this silver chain. And then we have the larger green metallic beads up at each end. The earrings are green metallic beads as well on that fish hook back. I have two of these. Hi, Kim. Kim G's over there in, on Instagram. This one is sitting right above that collar because, you know, this collar is not as high as I used to have it. This is closer to what my actual collars sit at, the ones that I usually wear. So I felt like maybe it'd be a little more helpful to show more a more realistic collar. So this one sits right above that collar. And with the two inch extension, you're going to be able to move it down. It will be just below this collar. So it's going to sit right about here, which is just above mid chest. So we have Party Crasher in green. Oh, <laughs> I'm on Kate. Oh, that's kind of scary, Kim. You shouldn't have told me that. I'm on her big screen on her television. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is number two, two of those available. She has it on YouTube and she has it hooked up to her, her television. And so I'm on her big screen. That's kind of scary. <laughs> I'm sorry you have to look at that, Kim. <clears throat> all right next up i don't recommend that by the way it's you know it's not halloween <laughs> this is called location 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 this is in i don't know if they consider this this was orange i couldn't decide if it was orange or multi but it is orange these are orange pearly beads mixed in with the brass metallic beads hi terry hi ruth thank you for sharing this, these are antiqued brass beads, so they're not a super shiny bead, which is nice because they mix with that shiny orange bead. Give you a little mixture of the two. The earrings are the orange pearly beads on the brass fish hook back. This is the length, so it is a little bit longer short necklace. <clears throat> Turn Dave. She's kind of getting caught in my wheels here. There we go. So this one's laying down right here at the bust. And with your extension, it will come down over the bust. So it will be right about here. This is a nice combination. I love it when they put the darker metals like the, um, hi, Carol, the antiqued brass or the antiqued copper with these brighter colors. It creates a nice contrast. So we have two of these, location, location, location in orange. That is number three tonight. How's everybody doing? I need to take some more cold medicine. I think my nose is getting stuffy again. It's, a, it's hazard this time of day. That nose starts to stuff up a little bit. All right. These are white crackle stone. Yeah, I'm feeling mostly better. Um, probably at least 75%, Carol. We're not at 100 yet, but I'll take the 75 so these are white crackle stone. You had COVID too, Juanita. We have COVID too. I'm still testing positive as of yesterday. That was my ninth day, um, but I'm feeling better. So we've got white crackle stone in that uh, rounded square in the center, and then this antique silver frame on, around the outside. The post is right up here in the corner. So this is gonna hang down like a square set on point like this. I do have two pairs of these. These are Frontier Runner in white, and they are number four. Number five, this one is in copper, but it is actually mixed metals. So we have the antiqued copper, the antiqued brass, and some polished silver. You can see they're kind of little wavy pieces stacked on top of each other, and then they're hinged together. So this is a really cool kind of a geometric type of piece. Tested positive last Monday and still positive. Yes. Um, was it, last Monday too. Was it wasn't Monday that we tested positive as well? Yeah. Because no, you we tested Sunday, we didn't. And then Monday. The was. earrings are the antique copper um, tassels. 
I have two of these. I lost what I was saying. That happens a lot. This one's half above and half below. Hi, Aunt Dora. Yeah, Max is here with me today. Half above, half below that collar with the two inch extension. It is going to sit down to mid chest. So right there. This one is called Mixed Metal Mecca in copper. And it is number five. One thing that we've noticed, we've had several family members and some friends that have all had COVID recently, and it doesn't seem to matter what you test. It has no effect on how you feel. So some of them are feeling fine and testing positive. Some of them are feeling really lousy still, but they're testing negative. So it doesn't seem to have any correlation with what your test says. Just kind of have to wait for it to go away. All right, let's do our first question. This one only has four answers, and I know, I know we all put more than this on ours, but it only has four answers. So we're going to go with answer number three. Name something you put on tacos. Believe me, if I only put these four things on there, I'd be mad. Something you put on tacos. I love tacos. Cheese was number four. Lettuce was not on there. And neither was sour cream. And I put both those things on mine. Tomatoes was number three. You got it, Allison. Tomatoes. What else do you put on tacos? Meat. The, the beef or chicken was number two. Guacamole. I love guacamole. Salsa, also I put on mine. Those were not on there. These people have no imagination. <clears throat> so the last one is a real staple on tacos. Basically, you don't see tacos, burritos, usually without these. What do you think it was? Hot sauce. Hot sauce is good. I'm not a big hot sauce fan, but I love salsa. It's chunkier, I guess, and not as, not as hot. Peppers, not peppers, not olives, but that's good. We put olives on ours. Got to have those olives. Tortillas. I love tortillas. I like the flour ones better than the corn. They're softer. Beans. That was the other one, Marlo. Beans. Got to have the beans. You know, you put down your nice layer of beans and then your meat on top of it. And then you can add all your other little toppings. Kind of helps everything stay in place there. <clears throat> At least that's how I do it. All right. So, yeah, they were not very imaginative. They have beans, the meat, tomatoes, and cheese. That's a sad taco. But it's still a taco. All right. Next up, this is Spot on Sparkle. And I wanted to show this piece um, for a specific reason. And it's because T-shirts, like mine, I know we all wear them, right? This is my coffee t-shirt that Marlo sent me. It says day drinker and has my, my coffee cup on it. This is what we wear most of the time, right? And a lot of people are afraid to wear sparkly stuff with it. Dress it up a little bit. Um, and you don't have to be afraid to do that. Because if you look in a lot of the clothing ads, that's what the models are wearing. They're wearing the t-shirts, they're wearing jeans, and they have their sparkly stuff with it. So this is kind of a nice crossover piece that's not too fancy, but does have the sparkle. So this is white rhinestones and then hammered wavy silver discs. So this makes a nice bridge between the casual and the fancy. So you could wear this with a fancier dress or you can dress it down with a t-shirt. The earrings, also those wavy hammered silver discs. I have three of this one. So yeah, don't be afraid to go out of your comfort zone. Wear a little bit of rhinestones. Wear a little bit of sparkle with your t-shirts. It lifts your mood. It makes you look better. <clears throat> a little bit more polished. And it dresses up your t-shirt. So this one's hanging right down here at the collar. With the two-inch extension, it is going to come down here to center chest. 
so we have spot on sparkle this one is in white so it's white rhinestones and silver three of those available and it is number six a lot of times we're just used to not dressing up our our t-shirts or wearing something that's more of a casual style like maybe this but it's okay to wear your rhinestones with your t-shirts All right, this one's called Luck of the West in white. So if you're still not comfortable dressing up your t-shirts, you can always wear something like this. This is a look more casual style. So we've got kind of the horseshoe or crescent in the center. These are little white crackle stones and little trinkets. They kind of look like little kites at the bottom of those trinkets. The earrings are the oval white crackle stone on a silver fish hook back. This is the length. So this is more of an upper chest necklace. Your collarbones are going to be right about here. So it's going to be just below those collarbones. So maybe right in here, like kind of like my other necklace is hanging, the, the top layer. With the two inch extension, it is going to come down just below this collar. So right about here. This one is called Luck of the West. As, as Allison is her in white. sparkle, a big old, big old uh, medallion that she's wearing with her hoodie. This one is number seven. <laughs> Allison Max wants to know if your sparkle with your hoodies is a big medallion. I'm picturing like a wrapper, you know, the big sparkly medallion. That's, it seems like it would be your style. You can wear the chunky stuff and it looks great. All right, next up, we have Thunderstruck Teardrops. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, Allison. Thunderstruck Teardrops. We have two of these remaining. This is that shiny copper. We have shiny copper teardrops, and then some of them have the little coppery colored rhinestones, so a tone-on-tone -tone rhinestone. So it will add a little sparkle. The earrings are those little rhinestones as well in the copper setting this is the length so sitting right down here to the collar with the two inch extension it's going to come down to about center chest it may be just slightly above center chest it's going to be right about there so again this one is thunderstruck teardrops in copper two of these left it is number eight. All right. Since we're doing shiny copper, let's do some shiny copper tiny hoops. These are the half inch ones. I love these because these are like the twisted metal. You can see that twisted together, not quite braided, but just twisted. These are called irresistibly intertwined in copper. We have four pairs of these. This is the length and size, so you could either wear them as your second earring, or you could wear them as your first earring to give you a smaller look. So we have irresistibly intertwined in copper. Four of those left, they are number nine. So this is the shinier copper, it's not the antique copper. I guess I should have made that clear. <clears throat> number 10. I have two of these left. This is called a mother's heart. It says mom in the heart. We have two hearts. One on the inside is just silver. It's a silver outline heart. The outside one has white rhinestones around the edges. Earrings are the white rhinestones on a fish hook back. This is a little bit longer necklace. So it's gonna hang just below the bust in that upper abdomen area. With the two inch extension, it's going to come down about here, which is close to mid abdomen, maybe just a little bit higher than that, but really close. It does have this nice freely moving chain. So if you really did want it to be shorter, be in the upper chest, you could do that by just pulling that up, fastening into the chain a little further down, dropping that extra down your back. So this is called a mother's heart in white. We have two of them, and it is number 10. All 
All right, let's see if I can find another question. Daniel, make sure the lights are turned on. One, two, three, four. All right, let's try this one. There's four answers. I'm not going to pick number four because I think it's kind of out in left field. <laughs> as far as the other answers go, they kind of go together. So let's go with... Let's go with number two out of four on this one. Name someone people especially enjoy winning an argument with. Someone that people especially enjoy winning an argument with. You know that one person who just always argues with you and it just makes you happy when you finally win? Who is that? Your spouse was number one. <laughs> Not that you ever argue with your spouse, Carol. Hi, Violet. Your parents. Yes, that was number two. Carol, you got that one. Your children. Not your children, but I think that that should be on there too. Your siblings were number three. Yeah. Doctor, the policeman. Yeah, children should definitely be on there. Judge was really close. Who else besides the judge might you be really happy to win an argument with? So I've seen the doctor. I've seen policeman. I've seen judge. Those are all good ones. Um, but it's not on there. Tax man. Tax man would be good too. Yeah, the lawyer. A lawyer. Because they're paid to argue, right? So if you can best the lawyer, you're doing a really good job. <laughs> all right. So you see, you did get all four of those answers. I wasn't sure if anybody would guess lawyer. So we didn't make that one the winning answer, but I try to make it easy. In laws. In laws. I think they're right up there with parents. Yeah. You never expect to win an argument with them. So when you finally do, it's like, oh. All right. This one is extra eloquent and green. So I'm going to call this key lime pie green. It is maybe a little bit darker than that. Just a bit a shade darker. These are faceted beads in that green. And then we have some little discs that are have white rhinestones and some hoops with white rhinestones. This is all in a plate. So it is going to be still. It is all one piece. The earrings are the faceted green beads on a fish hook back. This is the length. So most of it's up above that collar. At least half of it is up above the collar and a little bit below the collar. With the two inch extension, it is going to sit down the bottom of it to the mid chest. So it's going to go across this area. So we have extra eloquent in green and that is number 11 we have two of these number 12 number 12 is tender-hearted twinkle in pink yep it's heart season again you know it's right around the corner february's coming so they're putting out all the hearts and we have to get them while we can because they don't do too many hearts the rest of the year. These are light pink rhinestones on a silver heart. Let's see if I can be still so that they'll show. So on a fish hook back. This is the length and the size. So again, these are the pale pink rhinestones. Tender hearted twinkle in pink. I have three of these. They are number 12. I don't know why my camera is so zoomed in today. I had it. it just came up that way. I really didn't do it. Next up, we have some rippled hoops. So you see how they're kind of a wavy metal? Yeah, I know you love the hearts, Allison. And pink. So, you know, they kind of hit both things. So these are a wavy flat metal in silver. These are called learning curve in silver. I have two pairs of these. This is the length and the size. So very similar to the glitzy by association, the size of those. 
These are Learning Curve in Silver, two of them, number 13. And number 14, we have Coup de Main in blue. I do also have this in a hot pink, which means these beads, these emerald cut beads over here would be the bright pink. These have the hematite rhinestones set in between them on the middle of that bar. The earrings, also the hematite rhinestones. I have two left in the blue, and I believe I have two in the pink as well. This one hangs right down there at that collar. With the two inch extension, it is gonna sit to the middle of the chest. So right in here. You have that one in pink, Terry? Yeah, I liked them both, the pink and the blue. This one is Coup de Main in blue, kind of the French blue or the, the Mediterranean blue, number 14. <clears throat> You can go ahead and draw, Max. And this one, we all love our little rings, is Revolutionary Radiance. So these are little hoops or rings in slightly differing widths. So we have these that are kind of a wider flat hoop, and then these that are more of a dainty hoop. The earrings, also those little silver hoops on a fish hook back. This is the length. It is just a little bit longer than a choker sitting right there around where the collarbones would be. With the two inch extension, it's gonna sit right down here at the top of the collar. So right about here. This one also makes a nice casual necklace. You could go either way with this one, casual or a little bit more formal. Looks great with t-shirts. So this one is number five, Revolutionary Radiance. We have two of them. And that is going to be number 15 tonight. Now I'm just going to do a couple of kind of random pieces while Max does his um, drawing over here. I told you it's going to be a little shorter one tonight. Number five. Is that supposed to be 15, Carol? Or did you go back and want number five? I want to make sure I get to the right thing. This one is a stretchy bracelet. It's called Playing Favorites in white. So these are teardrops. Okay, she wants 15. Got it. Carol for 15. So teardrops, half of them are hammered in silver. The other half are encrusted with white rhinestones. This is a stretchy bracelet. I do just have one because this was an exclusive this month. So this is called Playing Favorites in white. So that's a teardrops. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Number 16. I liked that one too. I like that they mix the hammered and the um, rhinestones. So it's not all sparkly. And then we had this one that is hammered sections in silver. Also stretchy bracelet. This is called Come Under the Hammer in silver. So if you want a hammered silver bracelet, kind of looks like a bangle, but it's going to stretch in between these sections. So it'll give you a little extra room for your wrist and it's really easy to put on. So that one is going to be number 17. And Max has a winner for us. Let's see who it is going to be tonight. It is mom. Look at that. You won. So mom gets a free piece tonight. We also had... I have some kind of random bracelets left from Fashion Fixes. This was from this month. This is a hinged bracelet. You can see it hinges in the front or opens in the front. The hinge is in the back. This is the white rhinestones. So I thought this was a neat design that was in the front. I don't have the name for it because I didn't put it on there since it was a Fashion Fix. So I'll have to fix that later. But this bracelet's going to be number 18. I do just have one of those. All right, so I think we are gonna call it good for the night. That's everything we had out. And then a few things besides that, I am making the shows a little bit shorter so that I don't get so tired and so that I don't start coughing. 
because that's what happened last time when I tried to go too long. I started coughing because people made me laugh. You guys always do a good job of that. So we're going to cut it short before I start that. Um, we will be back Friday at 7. So we'll have some more things to show you. And again, um, if you ordered fashion fixes, they are in your pouch. They came in yesterday. I checked. Everything was there. So we are all good on that front. Everybody got their fashion fixes that they wanted. So have a great rest of the week and we will see you Friday. Bye now.